today I'd like to talk about progesterone supplementation during threatened miscarriage. Now, we know that progesterone is the most common uh, prescribed medication or pills for women who have experienced uh, multiple pregnancy losses or repeated threatened miscarriages. Now, usually the underlying cause is because either there is a corpus luteum uh, insufficiency or there is a hormonal imbalance within the mother that is causing this miscarriage to happen. So very commonly for these types of uh, mothers, we will supplement them progesterone. However, the supplementation must be done accurately. And here in Nantai Hospital, our philosophy is that we only supplement the amount that you require, nothing more, nothing less. Because we know that if you supplement too little, the miscarriage uh, becomes inevitable, cannot be stopped. But if you supplement too much, excessively, then there are adverse effects as well. But well, a lot of hospitals don't really care about the dosage that they recommend to their patient, simply giving them pills and then uh, trying to secure this pregnancy blindly. So I'd like to talk about some of the adverse effects. There are two distinct adverse effects that we want to avoid. So the first adverse effect of excessive progesterone supplementation for a threatened miscarriage is placenta accreta. So placenta accreta simply means that the placenta during this pregnancy has embedded far too deep into the uh, uterus muscle wall. This normally does not happen and this embedded uh, deep rooted of the placenta can cause some excessive bleeding, internal hemorrhage for the mother during labour. Although you can preserve this pregnancy but during labour it will cause massive internal bleeding and can uh, threaten the mother's life and also the pregnancy's life. So we want to avoid that uh, because uh, placenta accreta usually is associated with patients who have a history of C-section. However, there are those who have never been pregnant before but still develop placenta accreta. Now, how is this possible? It's because of excessive progesterone supplementation. Your doctors won't tell you this and now you know. So, uh, we want to protect the mother's life, preserve the pregnancy, and only supplement the amount that you need, not too much, not too little. The second adverse effect is the feminization of the male fetus. So let's say you already have a, a confirmed male baby during this specific pregnancy. However, if you supplement too much progesterone, uh, this progesterone, this excess progesterone, can actually feminize the male fetus, which means it will inhibit the development of the male sex organs, the male sex characteristics, and actually promote female genitalia development and also female characteristics. Now we can compare this to the hormonal therapy that uh, for people who want to switch genders, change their sex, this is the same mechanism that is happening. We they will usually go for estrogen replacement therapy or progesterone replacement therapy so that they can promote these uh, female secondary characteristics and also uh, development of physical characteristics. So the same thing is happening during the pregnancy and the baby is much more susceptible. So we need to keep this in mind. Although this is not harmful in any way, it's something that you may need to consider, especially if you have requ uh, requirements for baby gender uh, as well. So other lesser known side effects include nausea, vomiting, chronic headache, and, uh, uh, depression, emotional instability, tenderness of the breasts, and so on and so forth. There are several side effects linked to excessive progesterone. But two of the most serious ones are placenta accreta and feminization. So here at the hospital, we do the supplementation of progesterone. We understand it's very important if you want to preserve this pregnancy, but you need to do it very specifically. We have a specific formula that can calculate the specific amount of progesterone that you need at the specific point of pregnancy according to your gender, your race, your height, your weight, your weight, and several other factors. These are all taken into. So you will notice that different women 
at different points of their pregnancy require different specific amounts. So these are all very carefully calculated to avoid all these side effects and also preserve the pregnancy. So if you'd like more information or if you'd like to seek treatment with us, please visit our website and also leave me a comment down below.